did you look up to growing up? Was it your mum, your dad, or did you look to a celebrity, somebody like Britney Spears? I did. Somebody like Claire or the Lisa of Steps or Melissa Joan Hart of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. There's all sorts of people that we can look up to. But at the end of the day, they are just people. And in our heads that we think they are perfect because they are a celebrity. Or they are just the same as everybody else. If the only difference is they are famous. I mean, I can go outside and not wear makeup on and go to the shops and the road and get a loaf of bread and a pint of milk and no one would even care. Um... And it's different for celebrities. Um, at times, I think it comes down to the other man's grass is always greener, the sun shines brighter on the other side. And in actual fact, although the sun is really bright and the grass is so perfectly green as soon as you go over the other side and get a taste of that type of life it comes with another set of problems that they can't go out the front door without having body cards. I mean, how annoying would that be? I mean, I've heard that um, with uh, Simon Cowell, his um, place had been broken into the once by a woman you know I mean fans if they love you they do anything for you but there's a line <laughs> there is a line and and some are really passionate about what they are doing or what they believe to be correct but and this is my point they are just the same as the rest of us unfortunately they are in the public eye a lot more um, and over the years they lose weight, gain a bit of weight, lose it again. I mean, I've done that, but I'm not a celebrity. They actually get these things pointed out all the time in magazines. Like, oh, this person's put on a couple of pounds. She hasn't got a beach party as she did last year. And I think, in 
one cents. Celebrities are under an enormous amount of pressure to look good, but if you think about it, and you think of young teenage girls who look in magazines, um, so we um, they could say, well, this person is gorgeous. Why can't I have a body like hers? Very nice your fact. <laughs> uh, there are other magazines out there that just prove that celebrities are just the same as us. <laughs> um, let's say, I don't know, like... Someone has come out onto the town, he, Lindsay Lohan, for example, off the top of my head. And, oh, look at that, she's forgot to shave under her armpit. And you always notice, yeah, this always happens. Um, they get in to a taxi at the end of the night, there were cameras, crews all about, and there's that one camera who literally gets up their skirt and goes, hoo hoo hoo, that person has forgotten to shave. I mean, it is awful. It is awful and humiliating at times. But they are exactly like us, only they are f famous and um, we, we would dream to be famous or if it happened, be, you know, <laughs> but at the end of a day if you say oh you idolize Gwen Stefani she's nice she's you know okay but she might have her own flaws and if you try to copy her then you know it gets a bit messed up and here's a question too which i've noticed across the internet it's um in asked in a talk show too is are celebrities with tattoos good role models for kids and and there has been a couple of debates on this they i'm sure all celebrities in the wrong way are good people but i no bikes by myself actually when I was younger and I listened to Whitney Spears and maybe one more time and um, hit me baby one more time and oh that's it oops I did it again of all the years I have been in my mum and dad's house and I've had a hair brushed to my mouth and there's me going hit me baby one more time or sometimes I run sometimes some, you know of all the times I've actually done that if she had have had 
had to like say I don't know say she had to had to hear I don't know I mean I'd perhaps think oh she's got a tattoo that looks okay I'd like tattoo so in that sense I think as a celebrity you have to um realize that you are a role model for everybody else out there but but at the same time you have to understand that if say Cheryl Cole has got a tattoo it doesn't mean to say that you need to go out and get a tattoo exactly like her because say I don't know say you went on X Factor say you actually got the hands to you know be in front of the judges and then she points out oh that's like fine and they say oh yeah you know I uh, saw that you had the exact saying how to and I think she, she would be like okay all right well, what are you gonna sing for us moving the conversation up along but in actual fact she has not encouraged she has not actively encouraged this young Oh, to go out and get a tattoo because getting tattoos are personal but it does send off a message when you parade your tattoos about that it's actually okay to have a had to and if you think about it young girls at home can easily look up to you and I mean even when I was younger I wanted to be like my favourite celebrity and that actually was Britney Spears when she first came out because I have like um icy blonde hair and I thought oh yeah well, we've got the same hair colour and uh, you know and that's how that came about but um I don't know I think so celebrities ought to be a little little bit careful because although they are not actively saying oh right can I to but it's become the accepted normal to see how to's on celebrities so people are very younger age could think that is a done thing to do. I have made a another video talking about tattoos but I mean it is I have said it's a personal choice and if you you feel it's the right choice that's up to you but I don't have it to copy nobody because at the end of the day you have to think before you ink so yes that's a bit of a tricky 
one. Because I do encourage people to think about it. But at the same time as celebrities are going about and exposing them teenagers can think that's okay too so you know I think being a celebrity also comes with a huge amount of responsibility even I mean okay I'm not a celebrity at all but when I was in high school and I was moved up from the school to be a sixth former somebody um, brought us all into one room and had a talk and actually said that we are the oldest people in the school so we need to set the example because the people in the lower years of the school will actually be looking up to us and then I thought oh my gosh yes that's exactly how I felt when I was younger so, you know, even if I had a tattoo and a young kid thought, oh, I'd like to be like this girl in sixth form, I'm going to get a tattoo, it, you know, even though that was my personal I would be sending out the wrong message if you see what I'm saying um, so very tricky thought to be an example at times it has to at least a here that you are not flawed but that's craft because all, all of us are flawed in some way so in that short fact if you think about it it is wrong in one sense of the word to look up to a person of how to act of how to behave or whatever but even so you have your flaws and they have theirs as well perhaps they have a short temper and you but perhaps that means they don't care pulled as much because they stand up for themselves so you know having a short temper might have its advantages but then it can have a disadvantage like someone might take a swing at you so that person who has an anger problem or a sh shorter temper compared to this, this next person who's looking up at e you, I mean, again too, I think it all comes down to the enneagram and the sort of person that e you are and the sort of person how you handle your emotions and things all around you. And it's all on you, the way you look, dress, think and act. At the end, end of the day, we all need to be responsible for ourselves, yes. 
sometimes you do have an image to think of what can things look like to people of a younger age.